hello friends and welcome to my channel study buzz in this video i will be talking about a very famous play ivam indrajit written by badal sarkar the play was originally written in london in the form of a draft poem in 1957 and uh, the play was produced in calcutta in 1963 it was written at a time when Indian and especially Bengali society and culture were in the throes of uh, radical conversion and a time of uh, it shows a time of uh, political and cultural fix cultural flux Ivam Indrajit was one of the first of its kind that documents a serious form of protest it mirrors the uh, scenario of the country which was extremely dark and depressing and uh, hopes of the people after gaining independence turned into disillusionment and despair. The massive political and ideological crisis, socio-economic issues led to the hopelessness and confusion. Published in 1960s, the play discusses the boredom of life as experienced by the urban middle class youth represented by the characters of Amal, Vimal, Kamal and Indrajit. Their lives uh, has, been, um, uh, has been shown in various roles that reveals the complexities of a modern life and the worthlessness of their life. Through these characters, the mundane and stereotype uh, middle class cycle of life is presented uh, to show the meaninglessness of life which people are leading. No one is different from the other as they all go through the same identical process of study, examination, interviews for jobs, loveless marriages, family problems, responsibilities and failure etc. The play is divided in three acts to show the three major phases of life where they uh, lead their lives as per the set rules. They accept life as it comes without any desire to change the fixed routine of their lives. The only aim of their life is to achieve material comforts with a higher social status. The protagonist uh, Indrajit finds himself misfit in the whole system and tries to free himself from set rules of the society. But lastly, he finds no escape from the unpleasant modern life and hence he returns without being able to fulfill his quest. He also realizes that his anger against the set norms of the society is pointless because he is unable to change them. At the end of the play, Indrajit leaves his quest and accepts the conventionalities of society. He prefers to be called Nirmal and accepts the dictates of society like other characters of the play. Uh, though the the play um, though the play shows that uh, that the protagonist ends his quest and protest at the end of the play but it leaves the reader with a small ray of, uh, of hope when writer asks him to keep moving like sisyphus in spite of knowing the future as they cannot uh, leave their pursuit unfinished so the play has a has a reference of uh, the myth of Sisyphus. Uh, the play is uh, famous for its uh, anti-establishment characteristics. The play also captures the uh, the contemporary political, economic, and social uh, conditions of the country of nineteen sixties. It criticizes the political system that failed in providing basic facilities of life to every citizen of the country. The play also highlights the issues of poverty, unemployment, corruption and child labor in India. The frustration of the protagonist Indrajit uh, is, is against the miserable condition of our country where p poor children have to work in their early childhood and the government is unable to do anything.
the play also mocks uh, at the process of interview of jobs as a mere pretense of the whole process as the candidates are already selected by the interviewers badal sarkar has uh, successfully registered his dissent um, and and dissatisfaction through this play he criticizes the exploitation of the subaltern groups um, the division of society into rich and poor and the capitalist economic system the play also shows the struggle for existence the this play is um, an example of absurd uh, absurd play and even the language of the play shows the um, uh, the the characteristic of absurd theater because it has uh, uh, cynical dialogues and repetitive um, uh, uh, dialogues in the play so this play is very famous as an absurd play and it shows uh, basically it criticizes the political and economic system of the uh, of the 1960s so this is all about the play if you like the video subscribe my channel thanks for watching